All right, so back to this. Just yeah, continuing carrying on. Um, really, kind of the big thing and what it comes down to is in the last part, right? Which is part, um, God, I don't even know. Um, part nine, right? This is part ten. Part nine. We have reached the point to which we can jump ship in a Yuri's route. Um, again, right? Obviously, we saw that point in Monica's route, and now we're seeing that point in Yuri's route. Um, again, the interesting thing to know is in Monica's route, you know, obviously it wasn't, even though that's really what it is, right? You know, it wasn't like there, there, it was the choice, right? But it wasn't, you know, a direct, like, you know, implication or, you know, a direct, uh, what's the term, right? Verbiage, right? It was like, oh, you know, who am I going to help, right? But on this, it's literally saying, who do I go after, right? So, um, in this one, we're going to, despite the situation, you know what? You, here's what I'm going to do, because I'm going to click Monica, right? You know, obviously, on Monica's route, you know, we had the option to go for Yuri. Um, but the thing here, right, and what, what I find interesting is you know because i think when i originally played through i did the whole because i went after monica right and then went i don't remember how i originally played through this but i believe i did that one you know i clicked yuri's and then kind of realized we just completely jumped ship on the route and then i kind of went back to the beginning this one, I'm because I just want to confirm, you know, and especially since I misremembered with, um, you know, since I misremembered with, um, what would you call it? Um, the whole glimpse in the future. I just want to confirm, right? So, Bro, what the hell? So, but I'm curious as to how... Okay, that's interesting. So that's how... Because I was genuinely curious as to how... So this... Fight up, this is literally the exact same text. So, yeah, that's funny. So, what's hilarious is this is literally the exact same interaction, right? Um, honestly, I'm actually impressed with how similar they made it or, you know, how they uh, brought it together. Because I'm like, all right, how is this going to end up leading to the same route, right? But, you know, again, so... It's funny to think about, you know, and then again, the big thing there being like, I just want to confirm that, right? I'm not going to play through that. Okay, I'm on the wrong page. Just because it is like, obviously, we've already played through the entire Monica route. But I, I'm, because now what I'm going to do is play through Yuri's route. And then what I'm going to do is go back to the start of, uh, to that point in Monica's route and see how it bridges to Yuri again. I, I just, I find that very interesting. Like I didn't realize how seamless like that transition was, or it just goes right into it. Right. I thought it was going to, or I don't want to say seamless, but like instant, I thought it was going to be a bit like longer or, you know, but that that's just again, you know, so. Also what's in damn, you know, also again, what's interesting is, the, the fact that, and again, it's also, it's the same exact issue that we had with this decision in that where what you say doesn't actually make a difference. It's something later on that's completely independent is changed despite the fact that should still theoretically like be the same. Again, you know, it's the exact same thing here. He doesn't get a text from Sayori, right? Which is really what the big difference maker would be. Um, but again, right? You know, instead it's just... uh. And what did she say? She oh, I thought she said she rolled down her sleep, you know, because she didn't show up to the club, right? You know, 
or no, she did. Again, it's whatever Sayori's plan was, right? So, and again, red, right? So, what the hell? He he's about to give his entire backstory, but again, I I just want to confirm. the whole transition back to the Makara thing. So let's see. But that is, you know, a pretty awkward situation for Maka. But again, also like, so I don't know what happened with her, Sayori, Natsuki, you know, going over whatever plan, but let's see. All right, now, all right. Because what I'm in, this is pretty funny. Oh, I did not mean to save there. Um, Because what's probably going to happen is I think this is the point to where, like, let's say when I click um, Yuri here, right? Like, I just want to confirm this. Like, I actually really just want to confirm this. So I click find Yuri, right? And she's literally, is she outside? Oh, my God. So she's literally here, right? And this is the that exact, I did not realize how, but what's funny is that makes us realize, you know, that this interaction going on here, right? So that's funny. So Monica, because I'm pretty sure that's actually because I'm pretty sure. Oh, I was about to say she's in. So she's not in the piano room in this interaction. She's just, um, you know, she's uh, she was just they had already, you know, he had already given her the poem, right? You know. Again, that's just that I I just I did not realize how like instant that uh transition was, right? So I again that's just something to wear. I, I just want to throw it out there because I do find that like very because I think again what I had done is I went back and then clicked find Yuri, and then I saw that we were like confessing. I'm like, whoa, what the hell is going on? Then I went back and replayed through the Star Viewers route, and that's when I realized. You know, you that's when you like jump ship in the middle of, in the middle of the route. So that's just again, I like I I think that's a really good like that's actually like like that's something I applaud the mod on, and I think is really good the fact that you get like the opportunity to like in the, with how like instant and like seamless it is. Granted, I think it'd be more interesting if it was more drawn out, but there, again, would be kind of, you're basically creating, like, an entirely new story at that point versus, like, it being, you know, instant, like, jumping ship, but, which, again, you know, makes, I guess, makes sense, right, given, all right, how much, you know, they put into it, but with how, like, you know, seamless it is, it actually really, like, works out, like, you know, and the fact that, you know, the two choices you have are to either jump ship or whatever ending, you know, is something I really applaud the mod as well. Again, just just want to take the time to get all that out of the way, because what I'm going to do is I'm not going to waste my time going back now. Right. It was just something I want to confirm. So, you know, and we're all right here. Right. So. And again, obviously, her sleeve is red, so we know what that means, right? Which is funny, again, given that in Monica's route, right, Yuri basically immediately told him, right? I mean, she had him come into the school and tell him there, right? With the interesting thing being that, um, you know, in this, like, that hasn't happened yet. But also, like, with Monica's route, she was probably more desperate, given that she hadn't spent that time with him. And was afraid of potentially losing that, even though it was obviously too late, right? So, where the bruh, like, it's like, where the fuck did you two come from? Like, what the hell did you do to her? Like, you know, yeah, she's busy, right? Yeah, you know, she's because again, you know, she's in the piano room, right? what so that's unfortunate for monica right but you know we're gonna and obviously with whatever else is going on but obviously the club's not going to disband so she's still going to have a presence but again we'll kind of need to deal with the fallout and repercussions of that interaction earlier so you know i'm not read that you know
let's see. What the hell is going on? Oh, she's getting beat the fuck up by Natsuki, so. Bro, what the hell? I was shut the fuck up, dude. All right. You know, this guy's going to fail high school and be like, oh, it didn't set me up for success, you fucking dumbass. You know, my hero. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you got to be kidding me, dude. This is like the most loser fucking <laughs> dialogue. Homework? No, no homework. Anime? MHA? Oh, my God, dude. Just give up in life. Like, holy crap. Like, Jesus. What is going on? He's like, this is the average MHA washer experience. What is fucking hell? I do not. I do not fucking remember. Am I stupid? I do not remember this at all from my original playthrough. I genuinely do not remember this. What is going on? And this, this isn't Monica, right? This is Yuri's outline. Based on the hair, what? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. But this is also, this is literally Yuri, right? I'm not tripping. This is her, like, character outline. So. Dude, well, I here's the thing. I genuinely do not remember this from my original playthrough. Like, why do I not remember this? Like, what the fuck? And this is, like, that school interaction, right? Oh, all right. So that's just going to be the call. So. Damn, that's crazy. So it was right, you know. Bro, it's like, what the hell are you talking? Just click call. Click call and discuss. Like, you know. Yeah, it's like, you know. But also, like, you can literally just call. Right. All right. At, you know, uh, typical. Maybe we uh, end up in this interaction, you know, on uh, their route. Right. But, dude, what the hell? Did, like, oh, my God. At least, you know, what would you call? Um, What was I even going to say? I don't even know. He should have done his homework. Right. You know. Bro, why why would you send it this? She's like, oh shit, wrong chat. You know, oh, I meant to send this in the group chat, you know. And funny enough, because this happens in um the whole like meeting change, right? But again, what so what's interesting is funny enough, the routes have a lot, like this isn't something I'd originally realized when playing through this. You know, the routes have decent overlap, right? Obviously, I knew there was a point you jumped ship, but other than that, I presume the routes were different, right? But, like, they actually have, like, quite a bit of overlap. So. Yeah, dude, that's like, they're, like, fighting over the phone. Like. But she's like, I'll write it for you. Like. Bro, 11 p.m., you know, it's your plan. Uh, just roll with it, you know, figure it out, right? Shattered glass. Went to... There we go. Proper sleep. I mean, honestly, let's be real here, right? You know, I, I talk about this all the time, right? You know, I obviously, you know, post-grad, right? Well, not post grad fucking degree right but you know i'm i graduate college right but you know i went through high school right and i still get up have to get up pretty early for work but for high school right you know for like morning athletics and shit right usually like 11 p.m would be like the latest i would go to bed i'd usually try to shoot for 10 but 11 like isn't the end of the world like so long as you're honestly and this is what i talk about like like, obviously, you try to shoot for eight hours, but, like, so long as you get, like, six, you know, you should be pretty good, right? Like, six, I'd say, is, like, the bare minimum to function with, like, you know, that's, like, the bare minimum to function if you're going to be, like, busy during the day, right? 
And then like four is if you're basically doing nothing all day, right? And two, you're just taking a nap at that point. So like, you know, as so long as he gets like six, you know, he still got like, what time did he get up? Like he got probably close to like seven, potentially even eight hours. Like, you know, who is it? It's probably Yuri, right? Oh, I don't know why I didn't guess the other person who was sleeping over with Sayori. It was just Yuri showed up that one time and Monica dropped. What do you mean leaving in 10 minutes? Like, miss what? Like, oh, and it's this. Uh, one thing I will say, Longer Roads does a really good job of. Because what the mod's like pretty straightforward, pretty direct. Like, it's not, there's not a lot of fluff going on. But the different like locations, like, and how, you know, because, again, in the Monica Route bad ending, we saw that, oh, she found this location after walking around, right? And meanwhile, we know Sayori, like, knew of this, right? You know, or at least Natsuki knew of it, right? You know, not a, and she's told Sayori, right? Hold on, what the fuck? Bro, you gotta be kidding me, right? What? She's like, what the hell am I doing here? Bro, I was, I was like, they literally just disappeared, so. Like, what the hell are you doing here? Yeah, you know, it's like, I'm going to be honest, you know. Yeah, literally, you know. And again, I guess the big thing, this is a regular route that Yuri takes. So they knew, right, that they were going to run into her, so. So again, right, and this is, because originally it's like, oh, this is Monica, right? But it had Yuri's, like, you know, um, outline. So, and again, right? So this is the whole, like, dream, you know, aspect of, you know, the mods coming out, right? So, Libertina, all right. And they're trying to, like, throw some lore in there. Yeah, freaking uh, just made up that name. Like, the, uh, the entity doesn't have a name. She just made it up. Like, she's not like, my name is Libertina. Like, you know, I, I it's like, uh, 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 uh you know. I mean, yeah, and but also like you know, and, and again, like this is one one of the things in what I'll say, you know, one of the things that like it's interesting to see kind of how DDLC mods go about doing is like how do you portray like you know the like just obviously you know like assuming it's like a route based mod and you're trying to end up game with someone, right? You know how, but how do you portray those other like you know friendships and or like relationships going on, right? Again, like. I, this is partially why I give New Eyes so much credit is because of how it portrayed Yuri and, like, Natsuki, right? You know, like, with that being something where, like, Natsuki and Yuri were really, like, the closest of friends, you know, best friends before the MC showed up, right? But, you know, obviously now it's kind of like, it's like, obviously she's friends with all of them, but, you know, he's kind of different, right? That's, like, the point, you know? Um, again, so it's just interesting to see like how that's like like again like one of the things like i think an, an easy no-brainer way to judge a mod is by how well it portrays like non-targeted characters like let's say you have a mod that's like a year based mod how well does it portray the art characters like that's a good indicator of all right how much effort you know did they actually put into it right so yeah it's like you know we should leave right teleportation jesus christ you know yeah should we know her ass doesn't go to class right you know that rhyme can't wait for calculus dude this guy like has like all right freaking just skip at least it's over now you know how do we get there he's like dude just freaking dude use the google maps like he's gonna get lost as shit yeah, he's fucked, you know. No, he's like, I'm gonna be honest, that actually really hurt. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, and of course, this is what freaking uh everyone else had been granted. The question is, how much is Maka in on it? Because the reality is, the reality is. Obviously, Sayori Natsuki are, you know, really for, like, let's say, the MC and uh, Yuri, right? And even in Makarat, Sayori was pretty for 
uh, Monica, despite potentially her own feelings, right? You know, so Natsuki was just annoying as fuck on Monica's route. Um, but, like, the question is how much is Monica in on this, right? How much is she for it, given that she, again, you know, kind of has a thing for the MC. So... Bro, freaking spam, spam. Oh, my God. <clears throat> All right, yeah, freaking. So there's no, yeah. So Monica's 100% in on it then. Yeah, Sayori so doesn't even give a reason. Natsuki's just like, oh, I'm busy. Monica's like, I'm busy. Sayori's like, oh, I just can't make it. You know, yeah, of course they planned it. Like, oh, my God, they're all spine. Like, and again, because... And this is this is what I want to point out, right? Because obviously Monica is going along with it, given Sayori Natsuki, and get, it's kind of obvious at this point, you know, along the route, right, that the MC is with Yuri. But you know, obviously she has her own ramifications towards that. So you know, but that's something that he's going to need to deal with. So, but there's no way if he can see them, there's no way that she can't, right? You know. Oh, yeah, hold on, you know, I know. Oh, wait, what? What did he say? Someone talk with the R's. Then you can't kind of, I, I mean, oh, she was going to go to their house. All right, so, you know, I mean, but also, like, wait, when, did, hold on, when did that, when did he invite, oh, yeah, afterwards, right? I'm an idiot about her own um issues, so, I mean, that's kind of, you know, that's a, like, legit, you know, kind of concern from her end, so. Yeah, and then the mall, it's the same. There's no fucking way. <sighs> All right, dude, keep it together. But I was going to say, it's the same mall that he and Monica went to. So, yeah, really, dude? Like, really? I mean, well, to be fair, he has no idea where the fuck he's going. Now he knows where he's at, you know. What's the store, right? Nice. All right. Well, he already knows what they're going to be used for, right? Because she told him. So there should be no surprises to kind of the end uh, state or usage there. So, you know, <laughs> again, just uh, we'll see. I mean, because he like there's like maybe she had like a like or she didn't remember. But again, he knows like about her secret right so yeah that's why it's like you know well no he's like he just makes that shit up but yeah bitch mind your own business the fucking small crowd how about you do your own thing right so Bro, she, yeah, just immediately broke down on his couch, you know. Because, again, it's like, the reality is, like, you know, and because it's, it's, and honestly, like, Yuri Rod's honestly, like, most, I just haven't played enough Monica mods. Again, ironically, despite the fact, I guess MAS makes up for it. But, like, routes are generally done, like, like, Route based mod, like I talk about how, like, even though Nazi's my least favorite, like, I'd say, like, generally her routes are done like best. Your routes are done pretty well, too, you know, like, because a lot of the time it doesn't just deal with with Natsuki. It's like because her problems are external, you know, it's something to where they do a good job at differentiating between, like, you know, what her problems are again with her parents, right? Her dad, right? Versus, like, again, her actual kind of more like internal. Uh, like external versus internal character problems and usually flesh both out right you know i other routes it's harder to do that because all of their you know problems are internal so like let's say yuri has her issue with cutting right but then also she has her issue with you know self-esteem confidence and like anxiety and that's something that we're kind of seeing get fleshed out here right with her thoughts on it and even with sayori it's like obviously she has her depression but then there's also you know her other issues regarding, you know, 
kind of stemming from that, but more so the need to feel, you know, to put everyone just her, I'd say like extreme selflessness, you know, to put other people's needs above her own. Right. That's kind of a separate thing. That's sometimes not really expanded upon. Well, but again, with Yuri, like she's saying, oh, you should just be with someone else, right? And kind of, it, it was almost the inverse problem for Monica's, right? Where the MC was like, oh, you know, you could be with like any other guy, right? You know, like, why are you giving me a chance? And it's like kind of the same thing here where you're like, oh, you know, why are like, you can be with any of the others. Like, why are you giving me a chance, right? You know, bro, what? This guy fucking, you know, is he put in like a fucking Genjutsu or something? Why can't he speak? Like, And again, but that's why this conversation needs to happen, right? So. Again, right? Because, I mean, obviously, you know, him bringing up the kind didn't really help, but really just needed to happen to stem this conversation with the thing there also being that's like, uh, yeah, I mean, like, they're not officially a thing yet, you know, but this was really kind of the hurdle that needed to be crossed for that to happen, right? So, bitch, this is the same damn thing. What the hell are you talking about? Like, horror or subgenre of horror? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you know, what the fuck? Oh, all right. Oh, I was like, what the hell? Why is it dark out? You know, damn, freaking... What? She's ta he's talking to me, right? Yeah, don't worry about it. You're you're good. You're good. You know. Yeah, it's like it's like 10 p.m. Like Yeah, that's an even create like she hadn't stayed at a boy's house, much less, you know, spend the night, right? No, like, I mean that's fine. Like Did they misspell thank? What? Oh. And I, bro, what the hell? In actual? All right, but he says that, and again, he's going to be like, oh, Sayori's different, right? You say that as if Sayori hadn't spent the night with you, you know? But that's like, damn, the lights are on, you know? What, 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 hold on. What did he cook, though? We still don't know what he cooked, right? But, again, that's just funny. What the hell is he? Oh, I thought he... I don't know why my mind immediately turned to like a pillow for it, but that was just because of what Sayori and Asuki are doing, right? I mean, you know. Just send me, well, what, what did he make? We still don't know what he made. Like, what did he make? All right, a balanced diet is such a good help. You know, sleep is important, you know. Uh she you know, yeah, like she needs to actually like sleep. So but I will say, here's the thing. I used to have a problem with sleep, right? Like, and this was I'd say, all right, I'm not gonna lie, my sleep schedule has been very wonky. In high school, it was pretty consistent, mostly due to athletics. Obviously, you know, during like the summer, you know, it would get like not so great. But, you know, I had all that time off, right? Actually, no, it was still pretty good during the summer because I'd still have, like, athletics and shit. Like, generally, year-round, I, I, like, I had a pretty good sleep schedule in high school. College was where it kind of went to shit. You know, freshman year, I had the issue of, like, staying up late and still needing to get up early. And I kind of patched that up. Sophomore year, I had a really good sleep schedule. I had the opposite issue, though, where, like, I'd go to bed before I had all my work done because, like, I'd – like go to class during the day, do like classwork, homework at like night. And that's like, all right, time to go to sleep. And it was like nine and I'd still have like stuff to do. So junior year was more consistent. Senior year was abysmal. Um, not even gonna lie. Uh, yeah. Senior year, because I still had all online shit in classes from like COVID because junior year, like obviously that was like COVID hit at the end of my sophomore year, but junior year was where, you know, we had that like college COVID experience, but I still had to like get up early, you know, for again, 
versus like senior and I still was like doing shit outside of our class right but senior year was a lot more like again I still had the full online schedule you know so I could take advantage of that but now again it's pretty good though right scared what else and again obviously you know Libertina right so bro we don't even we still don't damn freaking uh Someone's going to wake up in the middle of the night. Watch. Dude, this guy's going to, like, destroy his mattress, you know. Welcome back. Enjoy your little date, bro. Who the hell is this? It's like, cut the bullshit. It's like, you don't even know. She's like, imagine she's like, that's not my actual name. I just made that shit up. Like, false hope, you know. Because funny enough, this is what the MC originally, it's it's funny how the roles have now kind of reversed, right? Because the Monica's route, this was the MC's way of thinking, you know, it's like, damn, is this shit actually going to work out? Now it's like, you know, it's Yuri telling herself this, right? So, and again, you know, granted, we'll need to see what uh, comes out of the bad room, right? But, Well, I mean, because she's probably awake right now. So, because again, it's just like, it is literally like Yuri's like, uh, what would you call it? You know, it's like her like sort of self-image or whatever you'd call it, right? So, it's like, what the hell? Damn, it's freaking cold as shit, you know. I mean, yeah, so. Well, because again, right? You know, Brazil, like, I, I still, granted, because I guarantee what happened is the writers, they tried to, like, call it with an explanation for the, like, whole shared dream shit, and they're like, nah, let's, let's not worry about it, which, I mean, I'm not, like, complaining, right? Because it's all, like, there is, like, there doesn't really need to be an explanation. It's like, all right, it's just a thing that happens that's been established, right? So, I mean, again, because it's a manifestation of your negative, uh, your, like, negative emotions, right? So, and again, right? So, let's see. All right. You know, it's a, uh, 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 is pisslet. That's why I'm like, what the hell, you know? This I do believe in gravity. I mean, and again, right? At the end of the day, we'll have whatever choice, right? So. I thought I just heard a noise. I don't know. So, bitch, get inside. I ain't reading this shit. What the hell? All right. I grasped my glass sculpture type. Feeling it's cold, smooth edges. On the ear for, and again, that's uh, the knife, right? On the ear for the jury head, the jury through the enveloping darkness. Raise the crystal sculpture above my head, watching as light seeps out, keeping the darkness at bay. With it, I can see the path ahead, born of silver starlight that reflects the glow off of my glass trophy. I lower the sculpture again. Thousands of tiny cracks appear throughout the one smooth glass. You need to be careful. The glass can only hold for so long. So again, I plunge into the inky blackness. Following the path, fade step before me. He leaned into it. Hear it again, the sound that drove me here. The darkness makes no sound, and I am left alone once again. I shine the light again, but this time it's not for me. Golden glow penetrates the shadows. Can I see it? A series of voices escalate the piercing light. One lost in searching for help. Another darkness wishing the light away. Suddenly the glass shines. The light slowly fades. Tiny shards of glass reflect the last remaining light. Allowing me to see. 
begin picking up each and every shard, receiving each time a tiny cut. See a figure in the darkness helping me pick up the shards. He's trying to help me as he wants to steal my only light. But who can I trust in this world of shattered glass? Because even though they're now, I guess, you know, BF and GF, right? You know, again, it's like at the end of the day, it's still like she still has the mentality of like, oh, is this even going to like work out? Right. Can I like trust him? Right. Is this like actually something that's meant to be or is it just another like fake out? Right. So, you know. All right, that's a crazy uh, request. Privil bitch misspelled the fuck out of privileges. You know? I mean, much less in a bed, you know? Pick a side, bro. It's... <laughs> you Pick a side. Like, what... You say that as if that even makes a difference, dude. Like, you know... All right, yeah, you know, to be fair, like... Take the right side, you know. Eight freaking uh, it was about to be some like crazy. Oh, uh, what, what fell asleep that quickly? Damn, that's actually like insane. Like, uh, there's a bitch that. Destroy that shit, dude. Like, you got to be. All right, dude. All right. We're, we're going to end this part with that. Because uh, now we're at a definitive change in point, you know, in here. But I was going to say, I'm honestly, I was surprised. I'm like, they slept through the alarm. But, you know, or like he didn't set it. But actually, you know, I guess just uh, they uh, got up early or whatever. But again, with that, right, you know, yeah, honestly, I feel like, yeah, this is a pretty good place to end it, you know. Um, and really what it kind of comes down to is, yeah, now we're for one, we kind of confirmed the whole jumping again ship, right? Changing route. It's like instantaneous. And it's at those two set interactions. So seemingly just the rest of the mod just follows, you know, when you jump ship again, just the other person's route. So we confirm that and obviously we reached the point to where now. The MC and your officially thing. But again, with that, I'm going to end it here and we'll continue on with uh, her route in the next one. So, yep, that's really all I've got for this one. See you then.